Hello, my name is Manuel from Object Research Systems. We will explore today how to use the Watershed Transform tool in Dragonfly software, uh, the engine of scientific imaging. So let's start now. First you have to find your data and you look for a region of interest um, that you select and to uh, find what you want to split in your data set. You choose your ROI in order to separate touching objects. Next step you go to a uh, segment on your left hand uh, top menu and click on invert button. Next you go back to your objects and right click on your ROI to create a mapping of in which you click on distance map menu item. Next you go uh, after processing you get back to the object list and hide everything but the distance map item and you go to the Reuter tools in range click on define range then click in the range slider to create the Roy seeds in order to obtain one seed per object. It is important that no seeds touch to each other and that every object has its seed. To do this you can zoom in the view to make sure that both conditions are met. To do so you can also inspect different slices and axis in uh, the image. When you find a good range you click on add to new to create the new seed ROI. Then you go back to the Properties tab and then select New 26 Connected ROI. Then you go back to the Distance Map ROI, right click and go in Modify and Transform and click on the Invert Menu item. Then Apply and Close. Then hide every object and display the new multi ROI. Then go back to the first region of interest in the object list. Click invert. That region of interest will be used as a mask for the watershed. Then go back to the multi ROI, right click and then select the Watershed Transform button. Then in the Choose Landscape dialog box, pick the Distance Map ROI Fiber in the Choose Arroy as Mask dialog box, Choose ROI Fibers. Then, finally, right-click in the view to choose the 3D view and then you can explore your watershed result in the multi-ROI with as many views you want.